Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, Hi. uh... <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing... <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something super exciting. I have my sister with me. Hi. But she's not only my sister, she's my hairdresser. Yay! So, <laughs> Hannah is going to revamp my hair. She's going to do this. Obviously, we're filming this after. So she is going to tell you what we're doing with my hair today. What are we doing? We are using Rusk Deep Shine Gloss, and we're using Clear, because Sophia's loving her natural color. We're just gonna enhance her natural color, and voila, we I'm so styled her out. Yeah, so let's get to it. Okay. So Sophia is getting a Rusk Deep Shine Gloss Demi Clear put on her today. She's really loving her natural color, but she wants to enhance it, add some shine, and help smooth away some of the flyaways and just give her hair some gloss. So Rusk's new Deep Shine Gloss is a Demi, and it's a liquid Demi. So we are using a bottle applicator. It's great for adding incredible shine. It comes in 24 shades, but Sophia just wanted to do clear. So that's what we're doing today. I'm using it on all of my clients okay. in the salon and they are loving it. Um, <clears throat> even a couple of my clients have used it without saying anything, kind of like switching up their formula mm -hmm. um, because the shades complement the permanent and the cream demi line so you can use the same color without um, any difference but they all come back and say like wow my hair was so shiny last time and so gorgeous like did you do something different and wow. it's just this demi gloss yeah so how long is this gonna last then four to six weeks it just depends on how often you're washing but recommend using a sulfate free color safe shampoo okay i'm actually going to send you home with hydrate yeah i feel like i feel like my hair is pretty good right now pretty healthy but it's just so lackluster luster lack lackluster <laughs> You know, it just doesn't have any shine or like, I just feel like it doesn't look as healthy as I used it used to look. Yeah. So. It'll make your natural color just appear brighter and definitely shinier, glossier. That's perfect. It, and it smells so amazing. Oh yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. What do you think it smells like? <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Do you remember that brand Calgon? I think it's Calgon. Yes. Do you know the Hawaiian Dream or Hawaiian? Oh my gosh, like, it yeah. smells was it like, like that. an orange. It was like an it orange. It was yellow. It was a yellow yeah. bottle. Yeah. I used to get every Christmas, like after it went on sale at Walmart, <laughs> I would get the set with the bo body lotion and then the little body mist. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. So Hannah actually gave me a haircut, what was it, like two or three weeks ago? Like two weeks ago. And I hadn't had my haircut for a really long time. So I hadn't had a haircut for like nine months because I had been away and I just hadn't been able to get going get my haircut. And I was also trying to grow it out so I was just like I don't really see the point in cutting it. But I had been using a lot of heat on my hair. So it was pretty damaged. So how much do you think you cut off of it? Maybe like six inches. What? You told me it was two. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
One time I had my hair cut with a razor and I was told that it was to make it really like light and fluffy at the ends. So I really loved that cut. So I wanted that again. So Hannah was able to cut all of my hair with a razor actually and give me like the fluffy layers that I want and the fluffy ends that I want. Yeah, I just like being able to give those soft ends with a lot of texture, um, no harsh lines in her hair. Um, she has a natural curl to it, so it's nice that um, she can let her hair air dry with just a little bit of product and it will look really beautiful as well, all her layers. For styling, I went ahead and used this Aquage uplifting foam and I just put it all through the hair and make sure I combed it out. It's going to make her hair light and fluffy and give it lots of texture and body with a little bit of hold so we can put some curls and waves in it at the end. I'm also going to use just a drop of silkening oil for her ends. Yes, and it's just going to reduce frizz and just make your ends really soft. All right, I'm ready to get started. Let's do this. Talk about a fast dry time. I know, right? I love my Rapido dryer. So we're just gonna enhance what we've already done with your blowout. Okay. Sounds good to me. A couple extra waves in the hair. Okay. Um, it's always important to use a thermal protectant, so we are going to use Aquaja's Beyond Body Sealing Spray. It's one of my favorites. It's a thermal protectant, but it has a little bit of hold in it. Mm. Make sure you mist it on both sides of the hair. Okay, so I love this big curling iron because it creates like loose waves and just like waviness instead of like a tight curl what are things that you appreciate that you can appreciate a client doing like bringing a picture in or something like that and then things that you would rather them not do before a salon visit definitely being prepared knowing what you want um and not being like all over the place like oh i might want to go darker i might want to go blonder okay um being prepared but also, yes, pictures are great. And having multiple pictures is good too because sometimes um, it's really important for the stylist and the client to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. um, and if you just show me one picture, I mean, it's up to me to ask questions about it, but it can be a little harder to determine, like, do you see the blonde pieces? Are you looking at the darker pieces? Like, mm -hmm. what? Um, so it kind of helps to break that down a little bit more. So bring in more photo options than just one. Yeah. But photo options are great. Photo options are great. Okay. Some people um, don't like, some stylists don't like see clients bringing in uh, Pinterest pictures, but I actually love it because it just gives me a great idea. And um, I know some of the pictures are not, they're photoshopped, you know. Right. Maybe the color that the um, model. model has is not actually what she has. Okay but if that's what they're shooting for, then that's your goal, right? Right. So it doesn't matter if that's a real picture or not. Okay. <laughs> um, but a lot of times with like those direct shades, you need to explain to your client that it's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of maintenance. And a lot of times if you're just starting out with one of those shades, you don't get there in one day. 
Unless you're Kim Kardashian and you oh have a lot of gosh. money and have a hairstylist. But if you want to spend the whole day with you. Oh. So I was gonna ask you as well, like what are some what what is the way to find a good hairdresser? And I was thinking like you've been doing my hair for a while, you know, because you started doing hair a while ago and obviously six years. So six years. Yeah. So you're my sister, so obviously I'm gonna go to you, you know. Mm -hmm. But um what are tips for people to find a good hairstylist and also, you know, staying with that hairstylist because they know you're, they've learned your hair and how it works and things like that? Yeah, so I actually have found that Instagram is a really awesome way to find someone um, for a cut because you're essentially looking directly at their portfolio, someone who really takes care of their um, imagery and is taking photos of their work and constantly posting. Um, I found a hairdresser actually that way. Um, another thing that you can do to find them on Instagram, if you're like wondering, well, what do I do? Just search hashtag hair, you'll be all over the place. <laughs> but um, if you, wherever you're from, if you search things like, we're from Pittsburgh, so Pittsburgh stylist or um, your local neighborhood stylist, if you search those hashtags, um, a lot of times stylists have used them in their imagery, so you're able to find their um, photos and find local hairdressers. If you're looking for something specific, you could say like Pittsburgh balayage or extensions or things like that. Yeah, I think that's important because I know that by now, after six years, like you definitely know how my hair is and how it works. and you know, the things that I like, and we have a pretty comfortable relationship, obviously, because you're my sister, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but for people who don't have a sister as a hairdresser, you know, to build that relationship with your hairdresser so that you know that she's going to take care of you, you know, and she's not going to let you do something that's going to ruin or damage your hair, you know? Right, absolutely. Yeah, so I said I had found a hairdresser myself um, that way, and... I was actually looking for this like specific precision bob cut and um, I can't remember exactly what I searched. Maybe I searched like blunt cut or blunt bob, Pittsburgh, and I found a girl and it was just very obvious that she um, did this haircut a lot. A lot of her photos had clients with this um, cut and so I just knew she was the girl for me and she's given me my favorite haircut ever. <laughs> All right, let's put some finishing spray. Sounds good. Are you liking the way it's framing I your face I love the way it's framing my face. What do you think about the shine? Yeah, I can tell. I can tell it's so glossy. So shiny. How's I it love, feel? it feels very soft. So, lots and lots of beautiful, touchable body. Lots of volume. Okay guys, so this is the look that Hannah created today by using the gloss. And then she gave me an amazing blowout. <laughs> and then she used, what tool did you use for the curling? We used the one and a half inch Fabulous Ceramic Curling Iron. So Hannah, run us through everything you did today. What did you do to my hair? Okay, so Sophia is super particular about her hair. Obnoxiously so sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what can I say? <laughs> um, uh, but she's really loving her natural uh, tone right now. And she's living in Sweden, so it's really expensive to get your hair done there. So um, expensive. Not worth it. <laughs> well, expensive whenever you get your hair done for free with your sister. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's loving her natural tone. So we did a clear gloss with the new Rusk Demi. Um, liquid demi gloss. Um, so we used the deep shine gloss and what it did was just coat her hair um, and give it a beautiful shine to it. There's oleic acid in it which is a fatty acid so it is just giving it incredible shine. It's um, healing it, um, creating a healthy pH balance so it's more manageable. It definitely cut down your styling time don't you think? Like yeah. you dried your hair so fast. My hair takes so long to dry. I mean, I have the Babless Rapido dryer, so that helps too, but definitely could see a difference between blow drying her when I cut her hair a couple weeks ago versus doing the color gloss today. 
We use the Rusk Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. And then um, I just followed with some styling products. I kept it simple. We use the Aquage Uplifting Foam, which just adds texture and body to her hair. Um, I use a little bit of silkening oil and we use the um, Beyond Body Shining Spray. Uh, we use the Bond. <laughs> This one, since we can't talk today. <laughs> okay, this um, is the Beyond Body Sealing Spray from Aquage. And honestly, guys, all the Aquage and Rust products smell amazing. Thank you. Um, I love them as well. But you can see that, like, even though we were spraying a hold spray in her hair, like, she can still run her fingers through it. Um, that's super important to me as a stylist. I don't like hair that can't move. Um, so I like products that are light in the hair and aren't gonna... Maybe that's stiff. Yeah, I think that the uh, trend has definitely gone in the direction of softer, more movable hair. Um, people aren't really loving those harsh curls either. You know, we're doing st more stuff like this where it's just mm -hmm. texture. Um, and that's where layers where and razor women. cut was really important to me because this is how I style my hair. Um, typically, so I want to have those layers, you know, I want to have fluff and that's why yeah, that's why I wanted that cut. Body, volume. Yeah. All those fun exactly. things that everybody wants. Everybody wants that. <laughs> Bombshell hair. Victoria's Secret hair. Yeah. Victoria's Secret angel. That's what hair. I was going to say. I'm ready for the runway. Yeah, you are. Where's my wings? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my billion dollar bra? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the same color hair right now? Do we? Almost. Oh my gosh, it's so close. So close. Yeah. But the you're paler than me, so my... it looks darker. Yeah. So my color is rust color of course but i actually just used a copper gold in it a couple weeks ago so looks like your hair is copper gold oh my gosh you're wondering copper gold so we did my makeup today I did. that's why i, I did too. so good <laughs> i don't look like this normally <laughs> i did my makeup today and that's why i look so good <laughs> i did her hair that's why yes she looks so good that's true <laughs> This was such a fun video. Thanks for collabing with me. Thanks for having me. So I'm going to leave Hannah's handle below, her Instagram handle, so that you guys can check out her profile and be sure to follow her. Yeah, check out my Instagram. We're gonna be posting some pictures um, from what we did today. And also I'm posting pretty regularly um, new stuff that I'm trying, new products that I'm trying. I like sharing everything that I'm using with um, my followers, so stay updated. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. And be sure to comment on this video. Tell us, you know, what you're thinking. Talk about hair and your journey. And you know what it would be really funny if you guys left stories about your hair experiences, good or bad, with your hairstylist, so that Hannah can get some feedback. Cause every hairstylist, you know, needs a little feedback every now and then. So leave that stuff below. <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up. Yes, <clears throat> definitely. And please subscribe. And I'm going to be posting more videos soon. So yep. have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye.